This time on Hobby Journeys, we're looking at the Warhammer pre-orders for the 31st of August, including some old-school ad mech and some even older Chaos Warriors. Hello! Hello. Welcome to Hobby Journeys. Uh, so, as usual, we're going to be catching up on the latest releases from Games Workshop for Warhammer. Yeah, um, we missed last week, so we'll be catching up on two weeks because you were in Centre Parks. Oh yeah, I was one of them. Right, so, shall we get into these releases? Okay. So, having a look first at the releases that went up on Saturday morning. Uh, big ticket we had was the Blood Angels getting a new big box set. So, this is very uh, focused on the Death Company. Um, so, you've got uh, some Jump Pack Death Company. They, the, all they look the exact same other than that Angel. Well, you've got the uh, Jump Pack in Infantry. Even then you've got a squad the, of Intercessors. The thingy the mechy person even looks normal uh they basically so these are basically as i think what you've got is a squad of assault marines uh a squad of intercessors and then um you've got a couple of characters and a furiosa dreadnought and then some upgrade sprues so the idea is these upgrade sprues let you customize your uh um, your uh, miniatures to be make them look like they're part of the death company. So I think that's the idea here. Um, I mean, I do like the uh, assault intercessors. I do like the jump pack assault intercessors. I love the chaplain. I think the chaplain is great. Uh, I mean, you get the box as well with the Blood Angels Codex in it. Mm. Furious to Dreadnought, um, fine. I'm not a massive fan. I mean, I think I prefer the ones that are on like guns. I don't like the mm. No, I don't like two claws. It feels weird. I mean, I think that... I just don't like claws at all. Yeah, I much prefer a one, one, one melee weapon, one uh, gun loadout for my uh, Redemptors. Yeah. I don't even like the one that came in the Leviathan box, which has two a big oh, missile yeah. launcher and a gun. I do... The only reason I'd, you could make me like that is if you showed me a model of it doing this. Uh, oh, tear, tear it to the park. Well, I suppose you could customise it. It might be tricky, tear it though. Tear to the park. But, uh, I mean, this chaplain, I do love this model. I think it is a great model. And this chap whose name I can't remember is fine. Astarath. Astarath the Grim. That was him. That isn't who I thought he was. No, completely different. But, yeah, here we are. But, yeah, I mean, I think the box is fine if you're into Death Company. I've got a Blood Angels army and a successor Blood Angels army. Well, uh, and I've never built any have, Death Company. Used to have an army. I don't think you touched that army in about Well, I haven't built years. for it. I do, have, I do have lots of miniatures for it, though. Well, yeah. I just haven't but, done anything for it for and a couple of years. You can't really call it an army. It's about... Yeah, but the point is that I never did any Death Company. It just wasn't something that appealed to me. Part of that's mm. because I, I find painting black a bit dull, but, you know, it just, I just like wasn't into it. black looks, yeah. but it does look like it'd be quite boring to paint. Yeah, I mean, yeah, fine. It depends what you're into, really, doesn't it? But anyway, there we go. Uh, also, last week, we had a load of Legions Imperialis stuff. Which we are very much endorse. Machine gunny tanks. Yeah, so these are some space marine tanks, so based a bit on the sort of land raider design with a big gun out the front of it. Two couple of big guns for for those. What are you thinking to them? Viking? Well, it, it, kind of. It's pretty much the same as everything, just, aren't you? Just, just some tanks. Yeah. <laughs> just some tanks. Well, if you don't, if you know, you can, I think you like no, the tanks No, but you like, you, you see, I've seen so many land ships on here now, look. Yeah, it's just a land ship design with a big gun, and that's what it is, and, and they all look and quite it's similar. Small. And it's small. Uh, well, these are like a bit different, brain. though. So these guys are termite assault drills, so what these are, uh, they, these drill underground. Well, yeah, I kind of... I so it's a so that. basically it's a transport. You have your men contained in, oh, and they're going to oh. drill underground. Then they're going to mine upwards. They might be damaging the uh, some of the buildings around and stuff but like that. Why would you do that? Um, to get in behind the enemy or something. Well, I think paratroopers would be a lot more preferable. Might get shot down. These guys come from underground, nice and protected. Yeah. Also, I think the idea one, is one grenade down that hole and they're dead. I think the one of the ideas is they will uh, they can destroy buildings as well, so they're going to come up ah. underneath the buildings uh, or inside buildings and yeah, deploy their men inside there. Uh, then we've got some layman Russ. Uh, I always like a layman Russ. What do you reckon to these guys? These are like exterminator and annihilator, like just different guns. Exactly like I said earlier. 
Just, just the same. Really. It's the same. We have it? seen a lot of very similar tanks, it has to be said. Uh, and then for Middle Earth, so is this for Lord of, Lord of the Rings? Never heard of this. Uh, you never heard of the Lord of the Rings game? You had Lord of the Rings, the Hobbits and that. Well, I know what a Hobbit is, but I've never heard of them. So Middle Earth Thrusty Mass game is uh, the Lord of the Rings uh, tabletop game, basically. Oh. Uh, a little they... bit like that Marvel game we played. Um, no, it's a bit more like Warhammer Fantasy Battle, but set in uh, Middle Earth, which oh, is where Lord wait. of the Rings is set. Wait, um, it's Middle Earth in the middle of Earth? Uh, sort of. Sort of. Uh, I'll just go with it then. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, so we've got, uh, we got this fella. He's uh, from uh, The Last King of Gondor. Uh, yeah. Don't know what Gondor is. No, well, Gondor's one of the human kingdoms. Uh, oh. So, yeah, that's the thing. But do you think he looks cool? Not cool? It's not right. It's I mean, right. yeah, it's got a horsey. Horsey, yeah. horsey. yeah. The absolutely. only good thing about that miniature is the horsey. But... Uh, fair enough. Uh, then we've got some horsey! Hero, heroes of Arnor, Arnath, and. Don't care about the other Argadir, two miniatures. Argadir. Horsey. Yeah, another horsey. They do like the horses in. Uh, I I like horses. Yeah, so so there's that. Horses. Nice, so we've got these just normal knights. I like them because they have horses. Yeah. Well, do you, do you think they're good for? As, yeah, because um, they have go? horses. Oh, fair play. But as as cavalry oh. go, compared to Bretonians, so say or something like that. Oh. They look smaller. They are a bit smaller, I think. Um, I think they're less armoured. They less... look cool, but I like the Bretonians more. Yeah, The only well, good thing too. about them is the armour the horse is less. Got these, uh, so these guys are Heroes of Angmar, which are uh, one of the bad guy factions. So these are, so dun, he's a dun, white. Dun. I think this guy's an orc and this guy's a white or something. Or you know, he'll be one of the... Uh, he's a witch king, actually. He's I a thought, witch I, king. I thought he was like a skeleton. Oh, uh, yeah, pretty much. He's sort of a ghost. Oh. He's a, the Witch King. He's, you know, he's uh, that well, sort of thing. I was right then. Uh, then we've got Aldrich he, and Frax, I, Heroes of Caradon. The guy, on the, the guy on the right, I thought he was looking at me like a teacher does like this. <laughs> do they look at you like that often? No, well, not if they do. Well, probably. So, not. Well, kind of often. Yeah, so there's these guys. Well, these are I think these are humans allied with the bad guys. Oh. Um, yeah. Oh, That's naughty. Oh, I think they're quite cool, actually. Quite they like are them. cool, though. And then some warriors for them. So, again, the human Just warriors who fight with the bad guys. Yeah, but they fight with oh, the bad guys. I like the, the one on the bottom right. Oh, yeah, woo, 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 he's going woo. for it, isn't he? He's going for it. Yeah, there's some werewolves. Werewolves. And then we've got some more uh, characters coming back. Flying bat. Wait, some bats more stuff. didn't fly. There was a, a bat. Quite a lot of stuff coming back. Mark. Like so that was last Friday's reveals. So, Matthew, do you reckon that this uh, the Blood Angels box set sold out? No. What do you reckon? No. No, you don't think? No. Well, shall we have a look? It is... Oh, it's on pre-order. So, oh, I guess it's still on sale. Yeah. It's... yeah! It is out. it's still available. Uh, it's still available. I'm surprised because Space Marine stuff normally goes, but they might have made loads of it, so that's another thing. I, I um, didn't think it I didn't I didn't think it would be bought no. because Well there we go. £145 pounds for all that. Yeah, that's why I didn't think um, it was bought. I think that's so you've basically got two two squads of assault marines, so maybe about thirty quid each for them, so sixty. Assault and setters about thirty five, so that's about ninety five. Furious of Dreadnought, a couple of characters. I think it's all right value. Oh, and you got the book as well. It's got limited edition books. So yeah, I guess. I guess it's not bad value. It's underpriced it's not bad. then. It's underpriced. Um, I think. Well, you're making a saving by getting it. I think, but I don't think it's wild to be honest. Just, but uh, uh, you know, we'll hammer up it by five quid, and then <laughs> and then you've made money. Bit, bit of extra margin. You don't have to tell them. They're all over that margin. Anyway, so we've got. Going up on pre-order for next Saturday. Ooh, machines. So like I'm gonna guess this is about Adeptus Mechanicus. So you are correct, Matthew. This is about. I'm so this is the, so this is the pre-orders going up on August the 31st. Uh, so you are correct, Matthew. This is the uh, about the Adeptus Mechanicus for the Horus Heresy. Yeah, because I'm always correct. So we've got a new book called The Martian Civil War for the Horus Heresy. Um, is I'm, that because I would am I getting this to be is honest? Is that because Adeptus Mechanicus live on a Martian planet? Uh, they look. They come from Mars. Oh. Yeah. So they were. They. So what happened was during the Age of Strife, as they called it, where all the planets were separated and there wasn't an Empire of Man and all sorts. There was just Earth. So at that time, Earth and Mars were separate. And on Earth, you had lots of different uh, warlords fighting for control and stuff. Whereas on Mars, eventually the Deaths of Mechanicus took over. And um, so they they were basically more about um, getting technology 
and sort of creating more better. So pretty much better better technological things. Mars humans is that pretty much what it is? Yeah. Oh yeah, they are humans, but they they worship the machine god. So the idea is they're not particularly good at developing new stuff. Particularly, that's not what they're about. They're about preserving technology and finding old technology and preserving it and then worshiping it. Anyway, so we've got this guy. This is an Arch Magos Prime. I really like this model. I think this is cool. So you know, the, what... it looks like King Julian from Madagascar. Uh... I'm okay, I, I don't know how to respond to that reference. Um, that's an, an 11 year old's reference because and he's uh, got a, not a 44 year old's. He's got a tall hat um, and, okay. and he's screaming like this. I think what I like about this is it's very it's similar to the 40k tech priests and stuff, but it is different enough to mark it out as being Horus Heresy oh, as yeah. opposed yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, it looks very. It, it's, very it's its own thing, and that's good. They've done a really good job with that. I do like this model. It's cool. Do you like it? What are you thinking? It's okay, but it, it took me a while to find the face. Yeah, well, I know. It's, well, you have to look at the zoomed in one, really. I mean, he's got you? about. Is that like five eyes? Uh, yeah, he's got a lot of bionic eyes. Uh, there isn't a lot of uh, and, human left in here, I don't think. And he looks like King Julian. I do and... like the skull sort yeah, of logo on his chest. I, th I think this is solid. I really like this. Uh, you know, if I was ever going to do an ad mech army, it probably would be this Horus Heresy, because there's other stuff I like in here as well. Uh, so, uh, Ooh, on, they're on those cool. eyes. I like these. I like them. Robot things, the Thalax cohort. Um, this makes up apparently makes up the core of the army. I think these are your like uh, sort of elite. In, well, these are no, these are more elite infantry because there are some uh, grunts available to you. So these, you know, but these are, I, I really like the models. Um, you know, I can't speak of how they play, but you know, I think I've always got jetpacks as well. Um, I, I mean, they probably don't walk very far when you move them. Do well, they? yeah, but they've got jetpacks. So but, fly I, around. but I imagine that's a well, you have to charge that every couple of turns. Uh, well, I think you'd be able to cover most of the battlefield, though. I think they'd be able to move around a fair bit. But yeah, I mean, I think they look solid. They look good. Uh, these guys as Ooh, well. I like them. Yeah, I, like them. I really like these. I think these are He's very got good. Grenade launcher. He has. I mean, I think everything we've seen so far absolutely spot on. I love seen these the guys. Imagine the one on the top and the right wagon. Yeah. He's like. Like his hands like spinning yeah. like this, and he just launches a bomb at you while he's doing this. I think my pro. I think I always thought with the ad mate, they do have robots that are a little. The I can't remember what they're called. Castellan robots, I think. Oh god, I've got to. Oh god, I've got to navigate the Warhammer website. Hang on. Bear with me. I thought you'd be good at that by now, how much you spend on this, it. This bit's definitely getting cut out. Um, is it? I thought you'd leave I'm it in. Ad mech. Why do you call it Abmec? Oh, it's just how we, it's what the cool kids are calling it. It's what the cool kids call it. I don't think anyone cool plays. Uh, these guys, Castellan, yeah, Castellan robots. So these oh, guys. Oh, I thought it was built So just to show you, uh, these guys. What do you think to these guys? They look like Hulkbuster from Marvel. Yeah, they do a bit, don't they? Uh, yeah, I think these are okay, but I do much prefer these guys. Yeah, I think I these like guys them look. There's like something the a bit more. The helmet. They look a bit more scary. I mean, these guys just look a bit... They look quite friendly. I think you'd quite like but to hug one of these. They look like Baymax from Thingy Like. I've no idea what that means, Matthew. I've no idea what do, that means. You watch Baymax for me. How do you not know what Baymax is? What is it? The big know. white guy. What? The big white inflatable guy. I've, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> The guy that's like a balloon, he's white, he's inflatable, and he walks like this. Are you alright, Matthew? <laughs> it's a movie, it's called Baymax, <laughs> search it up. No, no, it's alright. Anyway, Baymax. so we so we got these guys. I I like these, they are good. Um Oh I like that. He's good, isn't he? If you want for the thing on his shoulder, I'd really like that. Yeah, I am into that. It I is. don't like the thing on his shoulder. Though. I mean, I I quite I wonder if that's um, adjustable and you can make it into something else maybe but I think he's good I, I do prefer these guys but no I think, I think he looks I quite, better I quite like that big gun if it weren't for the big gun if it weren't for the big gun I quite like the big gun on his back to be honest I think that's quite no, cool no I don't like it uh, then these guys are the only thing I'm not a massive fan of, which is the uh, Tech Thrall's Well, they are like your main infantry. Uh, yeah, they? but I just think they're basically like zombie, because they're servitors, so they've been lobotomised. Um, like basically just soldier servitors. And fine. Any normal, just not a massive but fan. But does any normal infantry look really cool other than like 
Space Marines. Because... Yeah, but they've done so well right up to now. And then, then these things, I just, they're not, I'm just not a massive fan of them. I mean, I guess some people will like them. Uh, I just think they look a bit. I don't know. I'm not. I'm just not into these guys. I can't really explain why. The zombie soldier thing is fine, but you know. Do you like them? What are not you thinking? Really, no. Not really. They're all right. I guess they're the bulkier army, so like you gotta have a lot of them around. Then, well, yeah. this is true. And uh, lastly, we've got this tank. I like this tank. I know you've expressed. Uh, it's. Yeah, I think it maybe grows on you a bit because you did at right. first didn't think you liked it. I like this. I think it's really cool. It's just a, again a bit different. It's a transport for them, so it's going to carry them around the battlefield. I think that thing at the start is a waste of metal at the front of it. This bit, I quite like that. I think What's it just that looks a bit do ornate. If it's a transport? Uh, I'm sure there's a purpose to it, but it's got these. I don't know, they're guns or something. They don't look like guns. I don't know. I don't. I, I just don't know, Matthew. I just don't know. They're, it's all right. Mid. Kind yeah, I I like it. It's fine. Uh, dice, dice, uh, no, the, dice. The last of all, we're going to be looking at. We've got the old world, and we've got chaos warriors. So I really like the square bases that those guys have. The, yeah, what do you think to these guys then? Do you think these look cool? What do you reckon? I like the shields. You like the shields? I like these. I mean, you know, I always like Chaos Warriors. So that's them a bit closer up so you can see them. They remind me of Assassin's Creed, really. Oh, do they? Yeah, why? What? What is it? The about? shields. They oh, okay. remind me of uh, in the one that, that I've completed. Yeah. Uh, the bad guys have shields really like that. Yeah, I think these are solid. I think as uh, if you go Curse Warriors, you could do well, a lot worse. They look alright. I will go for them, but they're alright. You got some upgrade sprues, so you can you can customize them a bit. Uh, you got some champion ones, I think. These, they're okay. They're good. I think I think they're pretty good. Solid if you want to do. Yeah, Chaos Warriors. if that's what you're going for. Uh, you got some characters. I think these are old. These are classic models. So um, not really a go-to for you, are they? Well, so you don't like resin. I mean, do I'm probably well. No, these. Uh, I don't know. Are they are they resin? I don't know. Oh no, no, not even resin. These are metal. These are metal, Matthew. Uh, these guys again. <laughs> the one in the middle. Yeah. Um, That's what Jelly thinks. She I was like. never that into Chaos Armies anyway. I think you know. If I was going to go Chaos, I'd be going quite Chaos Dwarfs. I'm pretty sure they'll be getting a release soon, yeah, and we'll talk about them at length. You go for I Chaos Dwarfs? Dwarf. Chaos Dwarfs are amazing. I just go for an entire army you are, of you, great and I mean, ones. I'm going to tell you this now. You have not seen the Chaos Dwarfs yet, so let's not pass judgment until you have seen. No, but, the, but amazing. if I go an army of Chaos, I'd just get an entire army of great and clean ones. Oh, no, the Chaos Dwarfs are like their own thing. Uh, yeah. We'll talk about them. As and when they get their release. It's about 2,000 quid. Anyway, we've got some... Uh, That's still 300 quid. We've got some dwarf models. And then Black Library. Oh, this is one of the final... Uh, the last second... This is the penultimate uh, book uh, oh. in the in the so, Horus Heresy so series. So you finished it? Uh, well, I haven't finished. I'm, I'm, I'm on, like, book eight. You know, I'm oh, nowhere so there. Uncle Steve <laughs> finished it. Yeah. And then we've got uh, collect, uh, the Horace Heresy Collection. What's in, in... Oh, I think... Is this in English even? Oh, French. Nah. We, we beget. These are omnibuses, but French and German. We've got French and German. Uh, Imperial Palace and Dunn map. Well, if that's what you're into, brilliant. Uh, the Warmer Plus, so we've the got uh, painted flaming wings, so you've got plain wings. I Which think that'll we be for, be I think, because there were some prosecutor models came in uh, the Skaven Tide box set for Age of Sigmar. I'm guessing that's what you'd be using to paint these, so uh, if but that's what you're into. we don't do that sort of stuff. So um, I, I do have some prosecutors that I built ages ago. I base coated them, and then they've got a you painting. You never paint your old miniatures. Well, you have so many dumb miniatures you've never painted well you know one day um and then the law masters uh, talk about the tempestus scions who are like elite uh, imperial guard basically and then we've got and uh, the nova open preview that's actually um god this is so maybe the same day i put this video out or in two days or something depends when i get this edited but uh yeah so nothing that i'm really gonna watch is that uh well you won't be able to, well you won't be staying up quite that late I don't think but um but I won't be watching it anyway but you know well it's um I think it's in at two o'clock in the morning oh um, yeah can I watch that I want to stay up that late uh, yeah definitely yeah, uh, yeah no but I'll tell you all about what's been released and we'll probably do a little review video we'll well, pop if I can't watch it what's the point of reviewing it I want to watch for it for the channel well yeah I know <laughs> but I want but I want to 
want to watch it. Anyway, there we go. So, out of all that, what is your favourite, would you say? Um, to be honest... So we've got I've the... forgotten what we've done in the past so, 20 minutes. So we've got... Oh, oh yeah, I thought I forgot. I've got I the thought... neck. No, 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 down, down, down. Down. Thingy majigies. These guys. Uh, yeah, I can't argue with that. Um, I would say these guys, these uh, ca uh, Castellax robots, or this, I do like this uh, Alex Bagos Prime. He just looks like King Or Joy maybe, who, we, and we didn't look at him closely, but we have done in previous weeks, the uh, Cha Blood Angels Chaplain. Oh. Uh, I love that model. I think it is a great model. Um, so that's probably my favourite of all. But um, probably, if not, this has make a cost I do like. I can't stop thinking that he looks like King Julian. Well, maybe so. Anyway, there we go. That's good, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. We did two in one. So it was good, yeah. It was. Anyway, what are we going to say to the viewers at home watching? I don't know. What, uh, what do we? I think we say... Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Yeah, just do what he says. <laughs>